Hello and welcome to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes Grand Arena Championships, Season 11, Week 4, Round 2. My name is Boma Fett. I'm currently 10 and 0, hoping for that undefeated season. You can see I have a couple of feats here. Let's claim this. I've made it to Kyber once again. And I also did that one there. So I have always, always, always made Kyber. There's not a single season where I have missed out on Kyber. All right, let's take a look at who my opponent is this round. Das Boot Dus. Let's take a look at the Hotbot for a quick comparison. You can see I've got a ton of green on my side and there's only a little bit of red on Das Boot's side. So let's take a closer look. This top section is GAC stats, and you can see that my stats are all significantly higher than Das Boots. He almost never goes undersized, he doesn't get very many clears, he does have a pretty good defend to win ratio, so maybe he plays more of a defensive game. So I'll take a look at the GAC history and see if that's the case. The next section is the roster summary, and you can see that Das Boot actually has a higher overall GP than me as well as a higher top 80 and top 65 GP. I have a few more Zetas, that's probably not significant. But what is significant is that I have a lot more speed at the top of my roster. I also have the gear 13 advantage, 15 to only 11 for Das Boot. That's kind of low at this level. Das Boot does have two and a half times more gear 12s than I have, but in the gear 11 and above, I have eight more. This tells me that Das Boot has a fluffy roster. There's probably a lot of mid-gear characters, the gear sevens and eights and nines on Das Boot's roster. Here in the mod analysis, you can see that Das Boot actually has a couple more six dot mods than I have. That's not really significant. But again, I have more mods with high speed secondaries. In the Relic Summary, you can see that even though I have four more Relic characters, I only have three more total Relic levels, and that's because Das Boot has four Tier 7 characters. I don't have a single Tier 7. My highest is a Tier 6, so he's got five characters, Tier 6 or above. As I scroll down, you can see that neither one of us has a Galactic Legend or Jedi Luke or General Skywalker. Scrolling down further, ignore the speeds on my side, they're messed up because I've been moving mods around for the gas event. Uh, he does not have Wat Tambor. And he does not have the Negotiator or the Malevolence. All right, let's go back to the game and take a closer look at Das Boot's roster. So holy moly, look at that Darth Revan squad. That is an impressive Darth Revan squad. Um, we saw just a moment ago that Das Boot does not have a ton of speed on his roster, but he's got speed on these characters. What little speed he does have, he's put it all right here. Let's take a look at the rest of the roster. So there are the 11 Relic characters. That's fewer Relics than I've faced in quite a while. As we scroll down, you can see the Gear 12s. And I don't see anything that stands out as being unusual or that shouldn't be at Gear 12 uh, at this level. L3 is a little bit unusual. Most people at, at my level, most of the people I'm facing don't have L3 geared up like this. I know I don't. But she's such a good character, it's not a bad thing to have geared that up. Here at the Gear 11s, you can see Aura Singh is geared up at Gear 11 with two Zetas. So I would say that that is pretty unusual. You can see we've got some Imperial Troopers here with Stark and Veers. We're into the Gear 10s now. We've got Hermit Yoda here. This is where we're seeing some of... Grievous's droids now in gear 9. So even though Grievous is relic, his droids are not highly geared. We've got Emphis Nest here at gear 9. Mando is gear 9. C-3PO is gear 9. 
Down here at gear eight, we've got Count Dooku and Droidica, Grief Karga and Hux. Magna Guard is gear eight. And Wampa is here at gear eight. Now we do have Kara Dune and Admiral Piet at gear seven. So Das Boot has started to gear up some of the newer characters. When I scroll to the bottom here, there are not a ton of gear one characters on this roster. We've got Mon Mothma and Resistance Hero Poe at Gear 1, uh, but we're quickly out of the Gear 1s. We've got Resistance Hero Finn at Gear 6, Dengar is at Gear 6, and we're already back to the Gear 7s. So this roster is a bit unusual in the way that it's constructed. I think that there's a lot of fluff near the bottom of the roster, I've got a fluffy roster. I know that I've got a fluffy roster, but I think this roster has even more fluff than I have. So it'll be interesting to face if that Darth Revan squad is on defense. I'm going to have a hard time clearing that. But if that Darth Revan is held for offense, I think I can beat anything else that he puts out there. So let's take a look at the defense that I set. Okay, this should look familiar to you if you've watched any of my videos. In the top here, I have Night Sisters, Grievous, and Newt. In the bottom zone, I've got Darth Revan and Bounty Hunters. In the back, I have Phoenix and a garbage leftover Bounty Hunters with Wampa. So this is kind of a garbage zone, but I, I want to save as much as I can for offense because I'm worried about that Darth Revan being there. And you can see for the ships that I set my home one squad there. I was tempted to put my negotiator on defense since he doesn't have negotiator, but I'm not sure my home one could beat his home one. So I wanted to save my negotiator just in case. All right, we'll come back tomorrow and see what Das Boot places on defense. All right, let's check out the defense that Das Boot set. Oh, he's already attacked. Let's take a look. Three to get through Darth Revan. One for Bosk. One for each of those squads, not a surprise. One to get through Grievous and has not attacked Newt or the Night Sisters. Probably waiting to see what I will do. All right. Let's see the defense. We've got Grievous with Newt, First Order, and Ewoks. Night Sisters and Bounty Hunters. Okay, so nothing too challenging here. I may want to save one of my best squads for the back zone in case he's got anything really good hiding back there. All right, I'm going to make a plan and I will come back. All right, so you can see we have just three hours left in the attack phase. Let's see if Das Boot has attacked anymore. Doesn't look like it. Oh, he did, he came back, he's done four battles against Newt. And Newt and Django are still alive. Okay. Okay, let's go into the bottom zone first. And I'm going to go after the Night Sisters with my first order with Watt. I really should make this one of my presets. There he is. Okay. Taunting tech on Kylo Ren Unmasked. Weapons tech on Fox. And pass this over to Kylo to generate some turn meter. And let's uh Well I guess we've gotta we've gotta go against the zombies, so let's get rid of the taunt. And now I'd like to get rid of Talzin first, but Spirit is looking really squishy, so maybe I just kill Spirit first. 
No, let's get rid of Talzin. I don't like the Plague. We need to get rid of Plague. Oh, lots of stuns. And there's the Plague. Alright. Uh, call a Mass Assist. Healing tech on Hux. All right, get rid of that taunt. Let's get a move on. All right, I need to get rid of that uh, that foresight there. Let's pass this. To Executioner, so the Executioner can take out Mother Talzin. And we'll hit Ventress next. Generate some more turn meter. Let's see if we can get rid of her. Yes, excellent. Now let's do some healing. Mass assist. Uh, let's well, we can we can stun the spirit, that's fine. More healing, more healing, more healing. to spirit and now we can just go after zombie for a while doc is not really a threat so we'll just kill zombie for a little while see if we can uh, get Wat Tambor healed back up get rid of that play Leg is gone. Just need a little bit more healing. Lot stunned, that's not gonna help. over time. Let's start working on Daka. Uh, need to stall a little more. Give that protection over time a chance to work. Almost there. Just kill her. All right, sixty banners there. Came close on time on that one, but I wasn't really worried about it. I had that under control, so. It wasn't like the last two battles where I almost legitimately ran out of time. Okay, against this Bounty Hunter squad, it's mostly gear 11s, and I'm just going to take in my CLS trio. Um, now, all of these Bounty Hunters have Zetas, so that concerns me a tiny bit. But the fact that they're only gear 11, I think I should be able to take care of them. Start by stunning boss. Greedo looks incredibly squishy, so let's get rid of him. 
Uh, let's see if we can stun Django Fett. Nope. All right. Bye bye, Greedo. Good counter attacking. Well, let's see if we can stun Boss. Nope. Bye bye, Django. So there's the taunt. He's a double Zeta, so we just have to go through him now. healed up. Not quite. 61 banners. Okay, let's see what's hiding in the back. Alright, we've got CLS and we've got Shock Clones. So, those are definitely the two best squads put on defense. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shuffle my squads around and make a plan, and I will come back in a few minutes. Okay, so I think I'm going to get a little experimental here, and I'm going to try something I've never done before, and that is I'm going to go against this Grievous squad with my Palpatine squad. I'll take Tarkin out, and we'll put in red. Um, my concern here is that the Separatist droids are all such low gear that Vader's going to kill them really quickly and that's going to give Grievous a whole bunch of bonus turns right away and he's just going to keep wiping me out. Um, so, this may not work, but I'm going to try and manage it. We'll see. So we'll start with the Force Crush, then we'll go Merciless, and hopefully we don't kill anybody here. Oh, we did. Darn it. Maybe I shouldn't have brought Red in. Uh, we'll another Force Crush, but that'll probably kill B2. Darn it. Alright, so this is not working the way I hope. Red is getting a bonus turn right in the middle of Merciless. I, I hate the way that the bonus turns interrupt Merciless. Another bonus turn. See if we can get a stun. Yeah, this did not work the way I hoped. Merciless again. Force crush. Okay, well, it was worth the try. I, I think that might have worked against a different Grievous squad. It was actually the fact that those Separatist droids were such low gear worked against me. Um, that's okay. I have a backup plan. So we're going to take in... Shock Troopers.
Oh, I meant to take an arc trooper instead of sergeant. I really need to update my saved squads. I haven't updated them in quite a while, as is obvious by the fact that I keep having to change people out. Okay. Um, I may not even need the execute. Nope, didn't even need the Rex cube. Okay, so ugly banners there, but I'm okay with that. I got to uh, do a little bit of experimenting. We'll go against this First Order crew with my Jedi Training Ray. And again, here's another one that I need to update. Put in the Resistance Heroes. here on Kylo Ren Unmasked. A wiggle. And we'll wave. And now we're going to go after Officer. We'll spread the Inspired. There we go. We'll go here after High pilot, what does this do? Rally characters based on their role. Okay, so we'll do this. We'll wiggle again. Uh, let's put a confuse here on OG Kylo. We'll get rid of high pilot. Everybody is inspired. Let's wave original Kylo. And you know what? I'm going to save the middle ability. We'll throw the grenade. The middle ability is the one that has the healing immunity. Illuminated yeah. Destiny. We'll wave Kylo Ren unmasked. And back over to OG Kylo. Mass assist. Healing immunity. Sixty banners. Against the Ewoks, we're just going to do a nest solo. I checked low gray and he does not have high potency, so he shouldn't be able to daze nest. I'm gonna throw this on auto and I'll speed up the battle for you. Okay, 63 banners, but that was really frustrating for me to watch. That low gray had only 46% potency, and my nest has got about 140% tenacity. 
So how they were able to get that days on Nest, I just, it's mind boggling to me. Really frustrating. So no home one in the back. So I could have put my negotiator on defense, but he's not even gonna get to my ships. So, all right, let's go after these two squads. These are the tough ones. And so against CLS, I'm going to take Jedi Knight Revan. They stun Jolie, that's great. I am okay with that. Let's get rid of Chewie. And now we'll go after Han. We'll do ability blocks. We'll give the buffs to Yoda. We'll spread the buffs with Yoda. We'll heal up. I'm going to call Jolie to assist in order to get him protection back. Uh, we'll go ahead and taunt here. Battle's going too quickly. I'm not going to get Jolie healed. Okay, 59 banners. Against the Shock Troopers, we're going to take Padme. All right, let's do protection up. Let's see if we can get rid of Shock T. Um, I don't think I want to AoE because I don't want to kill anybody before fives other than shock. Okay, let's mass assist against fives. There goes fives. Now it's open season. We'll get Rex. Rex is the only one with relics. Retribution now. Okay, there goes Rex. Uh, does anybody need healing? I don't think so. I don't think this healing does protection, does it? Just does health. There we go. All right, 55 banners is not great, but I'm fine with that. It doesn't have to be great. And here we'll take our negotiator. Houndstooth, Anakin, Fives, Snips, Flow. That's probably enough. It's one banner, we'll take Sarge. AI always does the wrong move at the start there. Kylo Ren Unmasked goes first, he should do a basic and stun somebody. But the AI always does the big hit. Okay, let's go after Vader. And we'll put the buff immunity over there. Mass assist. There we go, we'll do the big hit here. Oh, and that finishes it. 65 banners. All right, so there is your final, 1911 to 1348. 1911 is not too terrible for having lost a battle. Um, but I was experimenting, right, for science. So I'd like to say thank you to Das Boot 
for the match, and thank you all for watching. I will see you next time.